versus candy. We flew to the old oak tree super early. We decorated our shop and put out the cupcakes and cookies. Customers were lined up outside. Our families and friends and neighbors were all there. Finally, it was time to open the shop. Oh my diary, running a bakery is hard work. We had to get the cupcakes and cookies for everyone. We had to bag them up. And we had to charge the right amount of moon dollars. I took a quick peek at the candy crunch corner. Two shops seem to have just as many owls in it as ours, so I wasn't sure who was winning. At the end of the night, we're closing up when we've run out of cupcakes and cookies. We don't have anything to sell tomorrow. That means Sue's team will win. Not if we bake more cupcakes and cookies tonight, but we don't have any sugar left and the grocery store is closed. Secret meeting now. We huddled together. Let's think, what can we do? We could ask Sue's team if we could borrow some sugar. They have lots of the party candy recipes. We can ask them for help. But if we don't, we have to close our shop. And then Sue's team will win. Everyone was quiet. We're all thinking hard about this decision. If Bar Sugar helps us raise more money and win, then we should do it. We flew to the candy crunch corner. Sue's team was all in a flap, just like we were. This was not the best. What are we going to do? We can't pack our candy without bags. What if we ask Evan Lucy's team for bags? No way, we can't ask them for help. We'll never win now. Just then, we heard Mia's voice behind us. I don't think I want a wheelchair anymore. I thought these shops were supposed to be a fun way to help me. But the two teams aren't even friends anymore. And all you guys seem to want to do is win. Everyone felt bad. We had forgotten why we were doing this in the first place. We had also forgotten we were all friends. And friends help one another. We're sorry, Mia. We'll work together from now on.